Hello and welcome to the tech update of this week. Now, the first quarter of this year, we saw Apple losing the crown as the number one smartphone maker in terms of market share to its number one rival, that is Samsung, at a global level. While this was happening at a global level, in China, we saw Huawei also being able to dethrone Apple with the release of the Mate 60 series in China. Now, one area where Apple has remained the king for the past many years in China has been the tablet market. But latest updates from the International Data Corporation, that is IDC, indicates that Apple has been outperformed in the Chinese market by Huawei once again. One wonders the reason behind the decline in the iPhone sales as well as iPad sales especially in the Chinese market. This is something I will be diving into in today's update. By the way, if you find this content informative, can not forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next updates. The report from IDC shows that demand in the Chinese tablet market is on the rise, growing by 6.6% year on year. Now, in the first quarter of 2024 alone, Huawei was able to ship over 2.58 million units leading to a growth rate of over 10%, allowing Huawei to lead the Chinese tablet market by 36% market share, whilst Apple followed with 24%. Now, when you compare Huawei's market share with that of Apple, Apple lost over 10% market share, whilst Huawei saw a massive increase of its market share by the same margin. This clearly indicates that Huawei has been able to eat into Apple's market share in the Chinese tablet market. Now, Huawei's success can be attributed to the fact that Huawei's market strategy has been more focused on entry-level and mid-range price segment of the Chinese market, which makes Huawei's tablet more appealing to Chinese users who are price sensitive. Now, Apple's inability to retain its market share in China can be attributed to a number of possible reasons. You see, Apple has been more focused on clearing the inventory of old models of the iPad. As a result of this, Apple had to delay the release of new product models. The last time Apple released new models of the iPad was in October 2022. That is over 540 days ago. It was just some few days ago in this month that Apple released their latest iPad, which is quite a long period. Bear in mind that all these years that Apple was failing to release new models of the iPad, Apple's competitors were already releasing new models into the market. This in the long run made Apple less appealing to Chinese users. As the Chinese tablet market in general is considered to be very competitive. In a market such as China, where the market is flooded with new models from competitors such as Huawei, Xiaomi and Lenovo, the only way Apple could have kept up their market margin would have been releasing new models to keep up with the trends which Apple failed to do. Now, the ride of Huawei as a leading brand in the Chinese tablet market poses the biggest challenge to Apple as Apple will have to come up with a more compelling marketing strategies if they intend to regain their position back in the Chinese tablet market, which I must say remains a very difficult task to do. By the way, do you think Huawei can equally sustain this new achievement in the Chinese market in the long term? Kindly let me know what you think in the comment section. If you find this content informative, kindly not forget to subscribe so don't miss my next update. Peace out.